Hello, I'm Jill Dinwiddie, and I've been involved with the Levine Museum of the New South almost since the day I moved to Charlotte, which was about 16 years ago. As a member of the Board of Directors, I was involved in governance issues related to the museum. And now as chair of the advisory board, I'm telling the museum story to anyone who will listen. Right now, I'm sitting at home during these personal distancing weeks and doing some cleaning out of drawers and cupboards. And I came upon some books that relate to my family history that I hope my grandchildren will find interesting someday, I hope. The one in particular I'll talk about here is an old yellowed paper covered titled book, The Journal of Major George Washington, sent by the Honorable Robert Dinwiddie, His Majesty's Lieutenant Governor of Virginia. The journal was printed in Williamsburg in 1754, when the French and English were near the point of war over the jurisdiction of the great Ohio River Valley. Robert Dinwiddie, commander in chief of the colony of Virginia, directed George Washington to go on a mission to deliver a message to the French and to obtain a reply. The book includes Governor Dinwiddie's letter to the French commandant introducing General Washington and laying the ground for the meeting. My father, Robert Dinwiddie, is descended from the Robert Dinwiddie family of Virginia. And if you've ever driven up Route 85 to Washington, DC, you've driven through Dinwiddie County, Virginia. Incidentally, be careful on that stretch of 85 because I once got a speeding ticket there and my Dinwiddie name did not help me one bit. I was lucky enough to participate in the Levine Museum's trip to Montgomery, Alabama in 2018 to see firsthand the National Memorial for Peace and Justice, where on 800 large steel monuments hanging from the ceiling are the engraved names of lynching victims representing each county in the United States where a racial terror lynching took place. I first wanted to see the Mecklenburg County Monument with two names listed, but since my ancestors were slave owners, I also assumed there was a monument for Dinwiddie County, Virginia, listing the names of victims killed there as well. Indeed, there was. There was a very, this was a very sobering experience for me that linked me more personally than ever before to the history of social injustice in our country. I'll be forever grateful to the museum for including me on that trip, which greatly heightened my interest in educating others to confront the truth about our past. Now, I'm sure that some of you have tidbits of your family or local history tucked around your homes that others would find interesting. I hope you'll consider sharing stories about some of those with the Levine Museum of the New South.